So the purpose of the competency task force is really about driving a, a framework for competency that will be set up for the future of the profession. I think competency is really what it takes to be a qualified architect, and that is a very complex thing. Architects do uh, very uh, many different tasks and have many different responsibilities, so competency is a difficult thing to define. The role of the architect is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the public, and so competency in that regard means the same thing, you know, that you do your job with a professional level of skill that protects the health, safety, and welfare of the public, and that sounds very simple, and yet there's deep nuances in how that can play out. And so that's why I think uh, it's complicated, and that's why we look at this periodically over time. We started out by looking at a broad array of topics, competencies, trying to define what we do. The group really had to start really big and then zoom in, right? And we really looked at what does it take for an architect at the point of licensure, um, which really reduced the scope and really allowed us to dive deep on uh, that particular uh, point in time. The task force started out by researching competency models that other similar organizations have done to get see if there were some good models for us to consider when we are drafting our own. Then NCARB convened a panel of subject matter experts, architects representing the breadth of different types of practice to, to identify some preliminary ideas of what those competency statements might look like. The discussions have surprised me because when you get into a lot of these conversations, you, you see where people bring in their personal experience and you kind of understand where they come, where what their point of view is. One of the biggest challenges is is to look at it with fresh eyes, knowing that there's been a lot of work in the past that we don't want to necessarily negate. This work is important because it's going to serve the community for a long time. The decisions that we're making in these rooms could be the reason that one person does or does not have a license. So, so there's a little bit of carrying that weight on your shoulders that, that we've all had to address and a little bit sometimes forget about to make sure that we're getting it right. It's important for future generations of architects and the public to know that we're keeping up with um, changes in the profession, changes in society, changes in buildings and construction, and just make sure that we're being cognizant of those needs to make sure we're providing the best health, safety, and welfare um, protections that we can. This work is really important to the future of NCARB and to the future of architectural licensure. Competency is sort of the core of what we do, uh, it, so it's incredibly important because it's the definition, it sets the framework for all of the work that NCARB does.